Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, yes, if you're here, you already know what it's about. It is a battle between two amazing tequilas, Tequila Fortaleza Repasado, their Winter Blend 2019 versus their Winter Blend 2020. Yes, a battle of titans. I've been able to dig into these bottles and, uh, you know, been tasting them back to back. And clearly to me, there is a winner. Um, it's, it's, it's slim in comparison, to be honest. However, there is one that I'm definitely preferring over the other. However, both of these bottles are absolutely amazing if you can get your hands on them. So starting with the bottle showcase, Winter Blend 2019. Uh, what's really separating this from the 2020, we got that real dark blue hue uh, around the neck. We have our little medallion where it kind of gives some information about it. I'm going to take that off and show you guys. Uh, Winter Blend 2019 American and French Oak Barrels. It is a blend. They actually take their... Uh, their still strength, the 46% still strength, um, and age them in two different barrels for this, giving them that blend, all right? So you can see back here, it's blended and aged in both American whiskey barrels for six months and new French oak barrels. So they they took, you know, a rested tequila, a reposado from those American whiskey for six months, and then the new French oak for 11. They blended it together bottle it at cast strength, and boom, this is that. Only 5,184 bottles available, um, and we have one of them. So what I'm doing right now is taking off the band, so you can see here. Um, this gives you a little bit more information about what's going on behind the bottle. So again, they start with their still strength. They fill up some barrels. Uh, look in here. Again, resulting in a blending of two different ages, a six-month and an 11-month. And undiluted, they bottled it at 45.7 alcohol. Um, other than that, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, let me show off the 2020, and then we will get into the actual tasting. So the 2020 bottle, again, here with the same little medallion, some information, you'll notice this is like this greenish, aqua-ish color. Um, instead of that dark blue, we got a different picture going on up here. American and French oak barrels again. However, they actually incorporated an ale barrel. Yes, a barrel that was formerly, uh, formerly, formerly, yeah, formerly makes sense, <laughs> was formerly holding uh, an ale beer. Yeah, to be completely honest. So again, just kind of here, giving you a breakdown. Um, they took, again, that still strength, their 46%, which is phenomenal. If you've never had it, try it. They aged separately in, in some different barrels. A used medium char American oak, uh, second fill French oak, and an American oak. Again, it's been aged, that aged an English style ale. So those three expressions were blended into the bottle. So the 2019, they only blended two barrels. The 2020, they blended three, which one of them actually uh, used to age an English style ale, a beer. Kind of interesting. This is only 7,050 in the world. And again, we got one of them. Um, something always you could tell Fortaleza from across the bar. They have that piña top um, that is handmade. So looking at our medallion here for the 2020, um, again, the 46% they start off with. And then what's really unique about this year is using that, you know, American oak barrel that had previously aged an English style ale. So three different barrels, six month, 11 month, and six month, and one used to hold some beer. This is actually undiluted at 46%. And uh, again, kind of the same stuff from last year. So I already got these bad boys poured out. Um, and if you have not done so already, hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. 
So you'll notice the 2019 compared to the 2020 is definitely darker in color. It's a lot more um, amberish, a lot more yellowish than the 2020. The 2020 is kind of more like a straw hay color. Um, the tears on both of these, looking at them, you can't really see it too much on camera, but I mean, they're both extremely sticky. These tears are hardly running off this glass. It's definitely going to give you a nice full mouthful. Uh, let's start off with the 2019, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Oh. So as soon as you bring the glass up to your nose, you're getting a face full of agave. Definitely cooked agave. Uh, one of my favorite things. I mean, I'm not a huge drinker of reposados. I love Blanco because I love that raw agave-ness. Um, and these, being reposados, absolutely retain that raw agave flavor and that cooked agave uh, flavor. I should say smell because I haven't tasted it yet, but you get what I'm saying. Definitely a lot of agave, cooked agave on there. Um, it's kind of like... Kind of like sweet smelling, almost like caramelish, like vanilla caramelish, definitely vanilla ish. It's like agave with vanilla. Mm. Yeah, definitely sweet in there. Hints of oak. I mean, it's got the six month and the 11 month. You're only getting some, some hints of oak. I'm sure that's the 11 month in there. Uh, nothing overpowering. It's just that. That agave and vanilla is definitely a lot more overpowering to me than the yolk. Uh, let's take a sip. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah. You're definitely getting a mouthful of... Ooh. Mm. Felt it going down. <laughs> down into my belly. Definitely getting a mouthful of agave. That cooked agave is huge. What you're smelling in the nose actually absolutely uh, translates into flavor. Um, definitely getting some black pepper in there. It's definitely pepperish. Uh, nothing super spicy or off-putting, but you're definitely getting some black pepper um, in with that huge agave flavor. Definitely vanilla-ish and kind of oaky. And um, again, just kind of playing off that caramelness of it. Uh, but I think it's more, more towards the vanilla. This right here, let me take another tiny little sip. Mm. Mm. I could even say like slightly chocolatey, like toffee chocolate. No, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Winter Blend 2019. Well, uh, here's the 2020. So real quick off camera, I'm going to take a little sip of water, um, you know, kind of cleans my palate. Mm. Mm. And uh, let's take a smell of this. Hmm. So, you're definitely getting agave. A lot of agave forward. Both of these are, are very agave forward. However, the 2019 is absolutely more full-on agave. Where this 20... The 2020 is kind of... You know, you're getting that ale-ish. Like, I'm kind of smelling like a beer. If you ever had like a strong ale, you know what I'm talking about. That smell, that hoppy kind of smell. I'm definitely getting some underlyings of that. Definitely some, that vanilla flavor still there. The agave, uh, it's kind of alcoholy. I think that might be the ale. Definitely not as agave to the face as the 2019 is. Uh, but you're definitely still getting agave. Uh, vanilla the oak is less than the 2019 it's there but i'm still i'm getting more of like a like an aleish beerish kind of smell i guess that's really what that that the flavors that that beer barrel imparted let's take a sip cheers salute mm. mm. So on this one, the pepper is definitely toned down. Um, you're getting agave, absolutely, right off, right off rip. The black pepper is absolutely toned down. It's not as uh, as uh, as forward as it is in the 2019. I'm definitely getting some of that beer flavor though, like that illness sour ish. 
ness to it, kind of like like citrusy, um, but it's kind of like a like a aleness, like beerish uh, to it. You definitely got that vanilla as well. Let me take another sip. Mm. Some more, some more of that agave is shiny, but it's yeah, it's still that that beerish kind of smell. Mm. Yeah, you're definitely getting more agave taste than agave smell. The way less black pepper, but for me, it's you're really. It's kind of it's it's a unique taste. It it has like a beer taste to it. So I think to call this um, the clear winner, I'm gonna do it right back to back. Last sip, 2019. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. 2020. Mm. God. <laughs> They're both such amazing and great tequilas. Um, Fortaleza puts out some quality, quality stuff. If you ever get a chance to grab one of these bottles, grab either of them. They're both excellent. However, to me and my taste buds, the winner here, and it's 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 a thin margin, but the winner here, ah, 2019. Yes, the 2019. Um, again, I love agave, uh, that, that flavor of both cooked and raw agave. Uh, the 2020 over here, just it for my taste buds, it has kind of like a beer-ish, ale-ish, hoppy-ish taste to it. Um, and with that being said, the 2019, I'm feeling more because it has more of what I like, more of that agave flavor where this had a less of that agave flavor um, and more of that unique flavor of beer where this was just straight agave forward, got that vanilla into it, little pungent from the black pepper. But man, this this to me, honestly, um, I'm digging the 2019 and taking that over to 2020. But again, they're both absolutely amazing. Trust me, I will be enjoying the heck out of this bottle. But that 2019 for us, for me, definitely doing it more. Uh, with that being said, we appreciate you being here. That's it. If you haven't done so already, hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. Take care, everybody, and thanks.